What's up, y'all? I forgot to tell you guys about how the International Beauty Show went. The International Beauty Show is a show where all these vendors from all around the world come and they have like a cosmetology side and then they have like an esthetician side. And it was really cool because they're selling like flat irons, blow dryers, hair care, natural hair care products. They were selling everything. And I just think that it was just like a really cool experience. Um, so I got a couple of things and your girl shouldn't have bought anything because your girl don't got money like that. All right. I let's let's talk about transparency in the influencer world. I have not even tried to get a brand deal in a really long time. I want it to be like more organic and like more true to just being myself and living. And what that means, though, if I'm not like pitching to for brands to like work with me and stuff, then I'm gonna be making less money. But I felt like I don't wanna work with brands just to work with brands. Like, I wanna work with brands that I believe in. And, like, not to say that the brands that I work with I haven't believed in, it just hasn't been as organic as it could be because I'm trying it and then I'm reacting, or I'm trying it and I'm saying, psych, I'm not gonna do the collaboration because I don't like it, right? So, I kind of just want to like live my life and go with it and I want it to happen naturally. I don't want it to always feel like forced because I took so many courses on like pitching and social media marketing and all these things and like naturally I, with me taking and spending money on these courses, I would know a little bit more about these things, right? So I'm going to do what the leaders of the social media world have been doing for so many years, but I was losing my love for growing and making content so i took a step back and i'm actually really happy i did because now it's like i you really are getting not that you weren't getting the real me before because you were it's just that you're really getting regular everyday content like i don't have a million dollar home i'm a very normal person and i want you guys to be able to see that side i don't want it to always be like highly curated and nice and i'm wearing makeup like that's why i vlog you know that's really why i vlog because i want people to see me in my normal skin and body me doing regular things so let's show let's go through all the stuff that i got your girl shouldn't have spent no money i should have been saving because like i said i have not gotten any brand deals in a while <laughs> Um, my fault, honestly, because I just haven't been focused on my brand, but that's okay. I, like I said, I'm actually happen, happy that it happened and I can't wait to, you know, do something. I have like a couple of things that I want to do in my mind that I'm passionate about and I can't wait to just go in that direction. But anyway, back to this unboxing. All right. So first thing I got was from baby hair. Get back the hair that you were born with. This was just like a free gift bag, like I think they just wanted our email. Um, they gave us some sample sizes of some things. Their shampoo and conditioner. Uh, their Rosemary Botanical shampoo and conditioner. This is what it looks like. I can't wait to try it. It has an expiration on it and everything, so that's good. Um, and then we have, oh look, a little card. I like the colors. I like the royal blue and the gold. They are a black owned company. I think I talked to them for quite some time, but it was like one of the first places that we stopped out vendor wise. So I didn't want to like spend a whole bunch of money and then not have the opportunity to like look at all the brands. I didn't have a chance to go back, but I'm pretty sure my cousin bought a couple of things. Um, they're freaking product crazy. Um, so this is a baby hair soap. Cute little soap, little sample size of their soap. And it says it has olive oil, canola oil, castor oil, kaolin clay, oatmeal, indigo, girls blue, gold mica powder, and buttermilk. I love when the ingredients are right there on the product so you don't have to guess. This doesn't have their ingredients on it. Um, but I can't wait to try it. I love supporting black businesses. I'll make sure to link all these down below so that way if you want to check out their website. Um, you can follow them on at my baby hair care so you can check them out all right period let's go to the next product i want to kind of go in order of what i bought the next vendor mm, this smells good in here mm, smells freaking good all right 
all these little freaking flyers and informational things. I got so many people are like throwing paperwork at you all day. Oh my god, it smells so good in this bag. Ugh. All right, so the next vendor that I went to was what's this? Must be some like hair. All right, was Olaplex. I already took the products out. Um, why I bought from Olaplex from this beauty uh, show is because the MSRP on like Olaplex products are like thirty plus dollars. I've always wanted to try Olaplex, but I always was never willing to pay the high ticket price for it because I always felt like, unless, in my mind, I'm like, if it's not sent to me, I'm not going to try it, right? So I have like this bad habit of like being like, I'll never spend money on something. But then when I get the opportunity to try it, I'm like obsessed with it. So I was like, you know what? This is my opportunity because they had a sale for two for 25 on their products, which does not happen okay <laughs> um so i got their olaplex number three repairs and strengthens all hair types um the reason why i got this olaplex uh it's like a pre like you it's, it's something you put in your hair before you wash it so for example i like to um straighten my hair a lot and this number three is supposed to be a really good bond for getting your curls back to its natural state. Usually I'm, I'm really good about protecting my hair, um, but you know, things can happen and sometimes you just need a little bit more help and I'm hoping that the Olaplex will help. Um, and then this is a Olaplex Bond Intense Moisture Mask. This is the number eight. This, they had the salon version, but then they also had the regular in-store version. And that was the really cool about the, sh that was the best thing about the show is that you could go and get salon crazy intense products that they only use in the salon. But I figured for you guys, it wouldn't make any sense for me to get the salon version of things because if it works really well on my hair and then you guys don't even have access to the products then it's not really going to help anybody because of course i would like to review it and show you guys what it does in my hair i don't know what it's called sunny sunny in denby what sunny in denby <laughs> denby 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 so the reason why i got this um this is a shea butter with mango butter cocoa butter castor oil coconut oil and fragrance vitamin e smells so freaking good this is the packaging you guys can um scan that qr code if you're curious because i'm not 100 percent sure sunny in denby let me tell you something this smells so freaking good it's getting a little melty though i think because when i Look at the bottom of this bag, it scared me a bit because look, look at this. So that's why I kind of freaked out for a second because I was like, what the heck? And it smells like the product, but maybe, you know, I don't know what happened. I'm gonna like put some on my hands. Hopefully it's the same thing because their freaking tester. Oh yeah, this feels so good, but it's really the smell and I love shea butter, but oh my God. Do I love the way this smells. This smells so freaking good. This little thing was $25 though. Would I ever spend $25 on a lotion or a shea butter ever again? No. No, I will not. I did it this time, but you're not going to catch me again. It's something about like supporting black business though. It gives. It gives like, buy me, buy me, please buy me. Like, you know, that's, that's what I get from that. But, you know. Whatever. I did it and it's done. So it smells so when I tell you I smell like because shea butter stinks like natural state shea butter smells like ass. But that smells really good. Am I answering this? Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to a game night and that's what they're texting me about is the game night. But my oh my god, my hands feel so freaking soft already. Lord okay what else what did i get next because i really didn't get that much okay so this was really cool um during the show we went to go see like a wax thing 
we got to learn how to wax people and um these are like instructions on how to use hard wax um your girl is completely lasered though so all these gifts i can't really use like this is like a hot film wax like i don't even have a wax pot because i don't wax but it's so cool that they give us little free samples. This is a after wax emulsion hair growth retardant. Hopefully it smells good. Um, I don't mind using it because I get laser. Maybe it will stop my hair from growing back with the laser. Oh, and this is a pre-wax spray. I don't need this. Pre-wax lotion. Like I said, maybe my cousin will be able to use it. I just wouldn't have any reason to. And then I don't know what this is talk cosmetic talk i'm probably gonna give this whole set to my cousin honestly because i don't have a wax kit i went to this little booth i don't know what they're called i don't even know if they have like a brand name they look like a beauty supply store to be quite honest um but i got these isha perfumes body and hair perfume mist mists I'm trying to show you guys what they look like here this is what they look like um this one right here is called right morning body and hair perfumist i don't know you can follow them at isha natural um the first ingredient though is alcohol but there's nothing like really special about them other than the fact that they smell really good and they were really cheap and um that's why i got them because they were just like so affordable and they were buy one get one free and i was like well they're buy one get one free the, this one smells so super manly i got this for my boyfriend not boyfriend he's gonna be my boyfriend soon guys like i'll give you an update you might not ever see him but that's my man he don't know it yet but oh my god this both of these smell so freaking good ow i keep giving myself like paper cuts Ugh. these smell so good um i went through every single scent that they had there and these two or three were like my favorite this the manly smelling one gave axe but i just liked it like i want my man to smell like that like it smells so good it's not even like a real like perfume i mean it is but, but look how cute this little thing is it's like glass just gonna spray a little bit because the reason why I also got it was because of the size. Mm. This smells like my childhood. Like I had a perfume that smells like this. And I can't explain it. I can't explain what that smell is. But it just smells so freaking good. But I wanted just something to put in my bag that's like small. Because look at the size of these. They're so freaking small. Love that. All right, so lastly, because I really didn't get that many things, but just figured I'd share with you guys everything. Um, I got this from Pure Fuji. Look at the bag. Actually, no, there's something in here that is not Pure Fuji. Before that, I went. they had a pop-up shop called Voyage there, Voyage New York. And um, Voyage is a, they have like Manny, Manny Petty, foot scrubs things like that of that nature but what i got was their shower filter so you could take your shower filter off or take your shower head off and attach this in between your shower filter and your shower like here's the instructions it's like right here for you to see and like it's supposed to be really good with like removing the like impurities in your water it moisturizes your hair and skin improves texture i don't know how long they last Okay, well, I'm excited. This has, like, vitamin C um, in it. So, I'm excited. Thank you, Voish. I mean, I bought it, but thank you for making me aware of your products because I'm friends with, with Rachel, who is, like, a huge fan of your stuff. All right, so then this thing is from Pure Fuji. Um, the reason why I got this, it just everything in here smells so freaking good and i didn't get really much hair products because our skincare like i thought i was gonna get a lot more skincare skincare is like expensive it's like 
$500 for like one moisturizer. So I was like, I gotta get with what works for me. And you know, I don't really take a lot of attention to my regular body skin. I always pay a lot of attention to like my face skin. So I was like, you know what? Like, let me like invest in that. So I got their Pure Fuji, Fiji, Pure Fiji Dragon Fruit Nourishing Body Butter, Scrub Rub, Hydrating Body Mist, and their oil. And y'all, when I tell when I tell you this smells, this joint smells so good. I gotta find another place to put it. They gave it to me half off this because I was like, I want it, but like, bro, I'm already spending so much. I think like all of this was like 65 and I'm not smelling anything right now, but I think I'm just smell overloaded right now. But, oh my God, this stuff smells so freaking good. The whole thing smells good. I wonder if this is open. It probably has a, like a paper on top. It does. Wasting all my time doing that. I just want to smell the stuff because I just feel like I can't smell right now. But I'm going to open this. Oh, it has like a little scooper thing. I love that. I love things that come with like little scoopers. But yeah. I'm excited. Now I just smell like a whole bunch of different things right now. I smell like 15 different like <laughs> scents right now. <laughs> when you see me like this, like sports bra leggings ready, you know I mean freaking business, okay? Which I do. I mean business today. PCOS has been kicking my arse, okay? Ugh. Just like... My memory card is full. <laughs> Fucking great. Let me let me take care of that. Let me take care of that issue. Take two seconds. Just give me. Don't pay me a mind. Oh my god. There we go. I am back. Um, my like I was saying before, I had to clean up my memory card. My PCOS has been kicking my ass. Like I wish I could like have you guys understand what my body goes through with PCOS for those who don't know what PCOS is it is <sighs> let me look it up because I don't want to give you guys the wrong acronym and it's early in the morning I meant to wake up at 6 a.m. but I just been so fatigued it is polycystic ovary <clears throat> ovary polycystic ovary syndrome um, and it's a common condition that affects how a woman's ovaries work. I'm just like dealing with the fatigue of it, but like here are some of the symptoms. Um, trouble conceiving, mood changes, acne, fatigue, insulin resistance, high testosterone levels, that's me. Um, excessive body hair, growth weight changes and trouble losing weight, ovarian cysts, low sex drive, irregular missed periods, male pattern baldness, thinning hair. Luckily, I don't have like thinning hair or anything, but the fatigue, um, I think the uh, insulin resistance, honestly, the high level of testosterone, I've been tested for that. And yes, I have higher levels of testosterone. So it's very clear that I have a hormonal imbalance, but I haven't been able to like function normally in the last couple of months. And I've been on this battle with just feeling so tired and feeling lazy and I know I'm not a lazy person like I know that if I had to choose between like having energy to go do things or like laying out all day like I would rather want to go do things I'm not really much of a home body as much as I have been this last couple of months and um I just not doing well with it like I I want to like I want to be better and the only way I could think of like being better at it is just like completely eliminating sugar from my diet from a little bit like no carbs no sugar which I'm probably 100% addicted to um because my body I crash like if I have anything with sugar in it bread anything I like literally crash um so I have to figure out another way I had eggs this morning um with one piece of bread uh, whole wheat 
bread and a cup of coffee with like like this much sugar just a little bit of sugar um and now i'm gonna take this multivitamin happy hormones pcos multivitamin um peach perfect and it's like these big ass pills they're like this big i'm supposed to take four of these um it has myoinostole and d chiro omega-3s magnesium zinc vitamin d um it also has um, i think i said that magnesium yeah it doesn't say how much but it says it has 125 percent of vitamin d only seven percent of the magnesium that you need but supposedly you need magnesium to take in the vitamin d and it's just been rainy and cold and no sun and when it is summertime I am outside like I like to go on walks so like I feel the best when I get that fresh air and I'm walking outside and I'm getting my oxygen in and I just haven't been able to do that in the winter and I was talking to uh, my boo and I was telling him how I think like moving out west where it's warmer would really be better for me and beneficial for me for the fact that like the winter beats my ass every time like I feel like I'm depressed but honestly I just feel like my <laughs> vitamin D levels are low I feel like everything's against me so I'm gonna take four because that's the serving size of these big ass pills I can probably take them all at once mm. ah see that I find it so hard to even take care of myself and that's what I think is getting to me I think what's getting to me is that I don't even have like sometimes the energy to brush my teeth and it's just not fair because like I'm not like a lazy person why am I getting emotional I'm getting emotional because like I want to be like amazing at all the things that I do and I just feel like my body's fighting me all the time. And I feel like there's nothing I can really do. So that's why I'm going on a diet. And I'm so against diet culture because it'd be so toxic. But like, I think it can't be toxic. I've been fighting with myself about this. I don't think it could be toxic if I'm doing it because my health is like at stake. Like, I just... We we're taught that like being on a diet is meant to lose weight and I've, I worked so hard to fall in love with my body and be okay with my body and um, like just to have like a healthy relationship with food and uh, I just don't want my whole life to be like wrapped around like what I'm eating all the time and I think that's why I'm frustrated I think that's why I'm bringing this up because you'll see a lot of people going on weight loss journeys and this is why like I believe in like body autonomy just like people doing what's right for their body like you guys can get mad at people for losing weight if you want because I know a lot of these plus influencers and like actors and stuff losing weight but you don't know what they're going through in their body like I would if I had to lose 100 pounds just so I can like have energy I do it I would take a freaking injection so I could feel better you know what I mean I'm not willing to take in a, in a like a injection to lose weight though you know what I mean like I would do it because I just feel like ass all the time and then I remember when I was uh, like put on metformin for my PCOS for my insulin resistance and I felt like I stopped taking it because I felt nauseous all the time and I just don't want to feel like that I don't want to feel nauseous and at that time it was for like weight loss like I was like you know I work out I just want to be healthy you know and then when I found out that my hormones were imbalanced and that's why it was difficult for me to lose weight I accepted that I, I accepted it wholeheartedly but I'm getting to the point where I cannot eat how I used to eat it could be just my age it could just be like like even dairy I can't even do dairy anymore because I get like migraines like that's all I've been dealing with it is literally Thursday and all week I just been battling my body <laughs> like I don't like that 
So moving forward, sorry, I don't know why I got all emotional about that. But like moving forward, it's like I'm no longer allowing that to be an issue. I'm no longer allowing my body to win. And if I'm on a diet, it's because I need to for my body. Like that eating neutral shit, like it's great and all, but fucking carbs make me tired. Like carbs make me tired, sugar makes me tired, dairy makes me sick. And yeah, I, I enjoyed fast food for like 30 years. I've enjoyed sugar for all, I've, I've enjoyed big goods, like I'm good. So like now, I think I just, I was talking to my friend about this. I was like, yo, like, I think it's just time to become a health nut and that's okay. Like, and if people think of me differently because I decide to like be that person that's like, oh, I don't eat this, I don't eat that. Oh, is there a healthy version of this or there's that? It's literally because I can't, I can't not live like this any longer. I can't go along life feeling like this. I, I can't do it. It's hard. It's been a very hard journey. I went from like my peak of just being like able to work out and you know, I lost 70 pounds before and I felt the best I ever felt and you know, playing tennis and I was living my best life. But when I tell you when it turned winter, when I didn't have tennis to go to and the weather changed, and I didn't have that like outlet. I don't know what it is. Like I just, I just feel gross. I feel gross. I feel tired and I feel like crap. So it's raining outside right now. <laughs> and I do have a meeting at 930. So what I'm going to do is I am, um, I'm going to do um, a workout class on my um, TV. I don't have like any, um, subscriptions to anything uh but i'm gonna just like pick like a pilates because i can't do like a high energetic workout according to like pcos you're not supposed to have like your heart rate too high or anything so i'm gonna go ahead and pick something that's like more i feel like pilates is good because it's body weight resistance movement um and you know this is a trend right now so i'm happy to try it but like this has to go past the stop i'm gonna go back to weightlifting like i was when i was at my prime you know and and i'm gonna start doing that like the cardio like i want to walk around because obviously that's good for my hormones like walking is good for sure but i do want to uh do some resistance training which is like squats and lifting and things like that um things of that nature because my body does well with it and I have to make my nutrition the number one priority of my life right now as much as I fought that it's just time and you guys can take that however you guys want to take that you know you can say I'm giving into diet culture or whatever but if you were in my body and understood how I felt because it's really not and and that's the thing too like people think it's about how you look for me, it's not how I look at all. Like I can look like this for the rest of my life and I'll be completely fine with it. But the moment I can't like barely get out of bed, that's when it becomes a problem for me. So let's do this Pilates class. I'm sorry I got emotional. First thing in this video, I'm not used to that. Oh God, that was a lot. <laughs> my God, it's been a lot. so I just finished this uh, Pilates it was a beginner Pilates I think I'm gonna link this in my description box because I really really like it so just as a note it was moved with Nicole 35 minute full body Pilates workout for beginners and it was just like nice like I felt like I was able to do the whole thing 
um it was very beginner friendly y'all like i'm not gonna front like if you've never moved a day in your life if anything i am used to working out so this might have been a little bit too beginner for me personally but it was nice because like my heart rate didn't get too crazy but i felt it in my body um so shout out to move with nicole um i'll put her instagram in the description box as well really really like that movement i don't know about her as a creator but her voice was just so gentle and nice but i finally i feel accomplished like i've been when i tell you guys i've been having a hard time like i'm almost punching myself in the face but when i tell you i've been having such a hard time with just my body and just feeling good like i mean that with my whole heart like it's been very very difficult like oh i know that there's so much i can achieve if i could just feel good right um speaking of feeling good i think i'm gonna put my lens on this camera i do have a wide angle lens for this camera once i find it it's looking like i'm starting to need it because i'm vlogging a lot more <laughs> it just makes such a huge difference because you get more of like a wide angle view but yeah like now you can see a lot more before i was like very much like this now like it's giving everything so i gotta remember to put this lens back on i don't like to use this lens when i'm doing like short form content so i tend to take it off a lot but it just looks so much better with this lens even the lighting for some reason just like looks better like even like this i feel like i don't know for some reason you could just see me better um anyway um i love you guys i'm gonna go ahead and work i have a uh meeting at 9 30 and then I'm going to take a shower. But look how beautiful it looks right now. I think like today I'm going to do some sun soaking. Sun soaking is like my favorite thing to do. It was raining earlier. But oh my God. I just like want to come out here. Oh my God. It's beautiful. Like not like super. Oh my God. It's like not super freaking. Ha, ah, Like it's still chilly. But the sun is out. Like I feel like I'm just going to sit out here for 15 minutes before my meeting instead of like going straight to work i need to like bring out a blanket sit on this concrete ass thing and just relax for a little bit because it's just, i haven't felt like the sun has been out like this in like days and it just feels y'all this feels so good i'm about to sun soak just it's a little wet it's dry right here though it's just the sun is out i'm enjoying it just move back a little bit let's do like a little five minute meditation see if there's a what is the name of that app i used to have headspace christian meditation in the quiet corners of our lives where the clamor and rush of the world fade into the background let me pray first dear god i come to you in the name of jesus to thank you for, my, for your strength your wisdom your glory your love for your grace, for allowing me to be who I am without any judgment. Physical or emotional endurance. It's also about finding inner peace amid life's ups and downs. As you reflect on this verse, imagine God's peace washing over you, calming the storms within your heart. All right, I have a meeting in four minutes. Let me go get prepared for the day. This looks like cat food. Ew. This looks like poo out here. Disgusting. I swear, cats be out here playing games with me. All right, guys. So I just finished all my meetings for the day. Um, I'm about to hit the shower. Um, I was about to do like this video, like using like all these True Botanical products for the first time and doing like my whole body head to toe True Botanicals, which is a skincare brand. I actually have had these products for a while. Here they are. Ignore my toothbrush. Just let me just. There we go there these are all like true botanical products like i have some like moisturize wait where's the front there it is moisturizer some scrubs all this stuff here that i never had the opportunity to use so um i plan on like doing like a full rundown of that tonight like i think i'm gonna take a shower now just to like cleanse myself and just refresh my body so I could keep myself up because 
like I said recently I've been feeling so fatigued and now that I have energy I want to just get hop in the shower because that's not even my that's not been my story I've not had energy around this time and I think it's because like I ate breakfast and it was just eggs and one piece of bread and then I had beans and like I had like nachos but like with like beans on it like beans and like what is it called like not salsa but like I don't know what that stuff is called but sauce like red sauce and I'm feeling good like I'm feeling like I had a high protein meal like I'm feeling full I'm feeling nice um so I'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower and you know just get ready for the day even though it's already two o'clock three o'clock but it's fine I have to go to church anyway tonight so I'm gonna get ready hey y'all so um I'm in the kitchen as you guys can see it is a hot mess and um I cooked some beans earlier um because I wanted like some protein so I had beans kind of like nachos I guess you could say with like beans or whatever I'm gonna fix this a little bit better wait oi lift you up just a little bit oh there there we go so I have beans or whatever um so now I'm about to cook again um originally my plan was that I was gonna make some like mashed potatoes or a baked potato or something like that but I ran out of time um this is the first time in a long time that I didn't get like too fatigued until like later on in the day so I took a nap around four, which I think was really good. Like I'm actually really proud about that. And then I woke up like 4.30 and then I woke up like 30 minutes later, like refreshed. So I feel good about that. <laughs> but I was gonna make some like homemade French fries or homemade or a baked potato or something. I just ran out of time. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to cook something a little bit faster. It's gonna be a little bit unhealthier, but it's not gonna affect my fatigue. Um, I'm gonna make some <clears throat> homemade french fries. <clears throat> I wanted them to be baked, but like I said, I don't have enough time. So I'm gonna fry them. I swear, when I was younger, I don't ever remember arms growing out of these potatoes. Like, I feel like, I don't remember that being like part of a potato thing. Like, I don't know, I don't know why. I feel like that's a part of my culture, I don't remember. <laughs> But I remember potatoes lasting a lot longer than what they last now. I'll tell you that much. Like, what are these arm things that grow out? It's annoying. I can't lose when I'm with you. So you guys can see what's happening. I kind of cut these in like in half and then in half again. And then I'm giving them a little french fry shapes so they look like this they're not gonna be the perfect square but or the perfect shapes but I swear my grandmother makes the best baked fries i just wish i had enough time to bake them evenly distribute it that's cooking I'm going to go ahead and put this on really really low because this is gonna take no time I'm gonna put the dishes in the dishwasher because I should have turned this on a lot back I don't know why it's not on just cooking my burger scratch uh, I'm making it from the freezer <laughs> is that from scratch <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. no I'm not making it from scratch then can I make burgers from scratch sure but I like bubble burgers I love those burgers you ever had a, bur a bubble burger the type of brand of burger that they have in the store. Yeah. 
Okay guys, so I have my burger on. It's going. I put a little bit of this marinade capital city mint. What a mambo sauce. I guess it's very popular in DC. And I got these going. Um, I had to bring it up a little bit higher because they're getting like more mushy than like crispy. So I'm leaving them alone because they're turning into like mush because <laughs> I'm doing too much. And I didn't wait for the fire to get be really, really hot to put them in. So that makes sense. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Um, and I will let you guys know what it looks like when it's done. But so far, so good. So <laughs> I don't have a bun or anything. And I didn't really let my cheese melt very well, but we're going to just use my freaking whole wheat bread, call it a day. And then these are the fries right here. They have um, garlic, not garlic, um, they have salt, pepper, parmesan. So they are seasoned really nice and they're nice and crispy and they're not burnt. They're perfect. Perfect, perfect. Today I'm going to be attempting using the squat rack for the first time since 2000, I don't know, like 19, pre-pandem. Yeah, we're going to attempt this. I'm going to bring you guys along with me and see how this goes. It might not go well. I look, I feel a little bit more like ready to weight, like lift weights. Um, so this bodysuit is Fabletics, period, point blank. It's cute. Um... The reason why I'm wearing this is because, like, I can't jump around in this. This is going to be for, like, slower movement. And since I'm just, like, weightlifting because I'm just doing this, I should be able to. I'm just going to be doing, like, functional strength training movements. And like I said, I'm limiting it to, like, four workouts today. So I'll bring you guys along. I'm going to try to record. I've not recorded myself in so long. But, okay, y'all, it's been, like, so long since I've vlogged in a gym space and I'm very uncomfortable but um I'm gonna just go with it it's been years and I guess because I feel like I don't have really like the authority to be like helping but that's just like called imposter syndrome like I feel like I don't know but I figure I'm gonna just go with it and see how it goes I don't know I'm panicked but basically what I'm about to do is, is I'm about to warm up um I feel like it's very important to warm up your legs when you're about to do like a heavy leg day. So um, I'm gonna show you guys what I do. So because I have PCOS, it's like, I have to allow my heart rate to come down or I will induce stress more. I'll be a lot of breath. The stress hormone called cortisol. So at least me in each set, I like to really like give myself a real rest where I'm back to like regular breathing because I don't want to stress my body out. Um, and this is kind of like a sweaty workout. It's probably not great for PCOS, but I do it anyway. And um, I have one more set, but with the extra 10 pounds so I did one plate that time and then this time I'm doing two plates so I would come the day that they're closing early but this is actually really good because then I won't force myself to like go harder than I really should because I'm not supposed to right so I'm gonna go ahead and set up my like squat rack and everything um yeah I'm gonna do that I don't have two minutes left on this camera how annoying um anyway i am i went on like a walk this morning um so let me let, let me just say this um uh, i haven't vlogged in a couple days and i'll like make a little insert of like me working out yesterday so that way you guys could see like i did like the squat work for the first time and it wasn't that bad it was nice i feel like this is like zoomed in 
It just feels very zoomed in. Um, however, I am, I woke up this morning and I did a little um, walk, a 30 minute walk. It was supposed to be three miles, but my legs were so sore. So now I'm like, in order for me to function, I'm gonna have to stretch. So I have a little stretch thing on the TV and I'm gonna do that now. Um, and then I'm gonna catch up with you guys, do some little shower stuff. Maybe I'll do a separate video of just using ultra botanical products. I don't feel like putting my mat out, but y'all, <laughs> I did like a little stretch before I put this on just to like get the lactic acid out and it feels a lot better because this morning I couldn't even sit, but like I'm about to do this whole thing right here. freaking tired still not tired but sore as all heck y'all like that was a good work like stretch like i feel a lot better i still feel like sitting is gonna be a problem but i do feel a lot loosened um i can see my body changing right in front of my eyes um i feel like you guys will see the difference like i feel like i see the difference in not that that was ever the goal. My goal wasn't to like, to like have any like crazy fitness journey or anything like that. But like when I naturally work out and and get into the sun, a lot of times like my body will naturally like just. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I will like get to my healthy like 240 and plateau there and. My body will look like muscular and it will look like I lost weight, but I just gained a lot of muscle. <laughs> and it's like this ongoing cycle, but with PCOS, I really just wanna like resolve this problem for myself. And if I can resolve a problem of like balancing my hormones and getting it back to like regular levels, naturally, I'm hoping that I can help others do the same. So um, that's why I've been doing a lot of fitness stuff. Um, no worries, this is not turning into no fitness page. Like, that's not what this is about to be. I'm not about to go. I'm not to, what is, who's the girl? I'm not about to, who's that Arnell's sister? I don't know, the twin. I'm not gonna go on the all twin on you where I was all like beauty and fashion and then I went fitness. Like, that's not my goal. But I am like a lifestyle vlogger and dealing with this is part of my lifestyle and what I'm going through. So if anything, if I want to go like more in depth into like health, I will separate that into another page if that's what I want to do. But for now, like I'm blogging, um, just doing regular lifestyle stuff. So right now, um, I do have to pack up for a trip that I'm going to tomorrow. I'm going to DC to see someone. See my... I'm not gonna say who he is because, or who it is. Like, it don't gotta be he, who they are. Um, I gotta say nothing, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get ready to go. The people who know, know. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say, but I'm excited to see him tomorrow, them tomorrow. <laughs> um, and then I have CR tonight. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a, a little nap, but I wanna like do like a full like, uh, shower using all these true botanical products that I have and uh, I haven't been able to do that. I've had these products for quite some time and I wanted to go like head to toe with them and this is the perfect opportunity I feel like to do that tonight. So yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. 